Welcome back to Tran Wins, Death Road to Canada, Tran Edition. We have three more rounds to go, and then I'll have Omega Streak to the game. It looks like I need to open 19 more toilets for the genie, so I will try to save that for the final run. Let's go ahead and continue. Well, start a new game. We're continuing our streak. Well, our season two, I think our our all stars are gonna be Munchkin and Road Rage. I'm not too sure about Road Rage. It also looks like there's a new, the heavy patch in the works that uses zombie points or something. I'd like to try to finish the game before then. I'm using an experimental way to record this. I am using Open Broadcast Studio to record the microphone. Hopefully, it records well. Rare extreme wins. Most recruits you meet are special characters. This is combined with the amount of zombies set to 160%. And the unique characters you find survive gigantic walls of undead. Bandits are more cruel. Great. Oh, if I finish these three, we're done. Yamart. Baron. Three food in the main area. Go. I'm not gonna search just. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna search it for now. findings five food we get five food from this one that was a fantastic find and time for the song dude Did I get cheated again? There's, okay, there's the gun store. 
Normally I start with the rear most buildings, but I'm gonna start with the gun star right now in case I need to book it. gather up the zombies. I prefer them in one area rather than all over the map. I'm at 83 toilets. Four. Dude, I slipped through it. You should be at two. Let's take a look at our stockpile. So I found one fragile weapon, two pistols, um, 80 pistol bullets, four food. Are you free? I guess you're free. Sure, let's take you. I'll have a siege coming up, so it'll be extra help.
can't afford to get the Night Sword right now. If I had more morale, I might think about it. Right, hold on, A okay, anyways. Alright, back. And I cannot unequip him. That's fine. I was I actually wanted to leave him with his air horn. Oh yes, I'm gonna do tell her to cool it. That way I can reveal Road Rage's mechanical skill. The group finds a mansion that has a bunch of random crap in it. There are there are a lot of expensive and also now useless TVs strewn about, some still in their boxes. Autos are everywhere. Outside, there's a muscle car crash into the stagnant pool. Hey, get the heck out of my house. The man appears, introducing himself as the mayor of the town. He corrects himself and says he's the governor emperor. Michael Chortos, heh <laughs> Yeah, I bet you want me to join you. How about you pay me up front? Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna look up the god emperor. I'm gonna see if he's any good. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even have enough food for that. Never mind. I only have 22 food. Michael's voice gets panicked all of a sudden. Wait, you can't just leave me here. Come on, take me with you. I'll give you a bunch of food. Make it worth your while. Make it worth your time. Do we have a deal? Sure. Michael makes an expression that's a mix of relief and a smirk. Great, you won't regret this. Here's that food. He gives me two food. Not really a bunch. You're just going to feed yourself. But all right. He does look cool, though, I will say that. His, um, he is effectively ha he does effectively have the berserk behavior. I was gonna say paranoid, but man, it's been a while since I, I, I was gonna think that. You are probably better off than Munchkin, actually, so we'll put all the weapons on you. Munchkin's like zero or below because of tired. It'll only so that much can have something to punch with. So I'm gonna resume now. Uh, and then I'm going to give him an empty handgun, take the bullets, and give you the baseball bat. Not much gonna at least have something to use. Sports, I'm gonna just let him do his own thing. I only went in here because I want to see him use his foam finger. A golf club, a foam finger, and the butt of a pistol. Truly great weapons of our time. I 
finish him off. That golf club has lasted a while. Those things generally break pretty fast. Alright, you did not pick up anything, which is good, because now I'm going to leave you behind. So, what was, let me see here. Who should I leave behind? He's got sports perks. I'm not sure. I don't think that'll do anything. Um, I guess we'll just leave Michael behind, and then we'll leave... No, no. At least Michael can equip things. We'll leave sports for now. And then we'll leave Michael afterwards. Ooh, I can get plus two shooting for Road Rage or shooting for the whole group. Um. Hmm. Oh, well, Mike's gonna probably get food morale bonus, so let's just get shooting. I do want Mike's gonna have high shooting, so I'm gonna do that one. All of these are kind of good, kind of risky. Cool it. I get a cool it charge off too. Don't trust them, I might get some morale bonus from that. I rob them, I get some food. This one's also kind of risky on its own. Um, let's try to get Munchkin's morale up. Uh, apparently that didn't help him. But only, he's the only one who's tired, so in the way that, that works. Ripper Cabin could have some weapons. I definitely need weapons. I always like getting food, but I definitely need weapons because I am using scissors and a golf club as my siege weapons, apparently. Hardware store might also be a thing. Probably find hammers there, and there's a possibility of a chainsaw. That's unlikely. I think Prepper Cabin should give me at least decent weapons. I'm gonna leave Michael on this one. He goes to pick everything up before Michael touches anything. One quick look around to make sure there's no gas cans. Oh, here's a branch. Guess I could get that. If I do that, I don't get the food bonus at the end. Not, not the end. I mean, talking about um, what am I mean? Um, 
on the poo box, so I'm not sure I actually want the ranch. I might as well just like leave the box alone, really. We got nine food from that. That's already surpasses the y'all mark by far that I got at the beginning of the game. Uh, I don't think I brought the pistol, so that's probably all bullets that I found. I don't think I have enough mechanical to help them, nor do I have enough shooting to help them, so I'm going to not help and drive off. Can I get morale bonus from that? Because the swarm size and aggression, I'm gonna go police station. Otherwise, I'd probably try bookstore just to search the city. I think I could search the city if I do that. Police station, I, I can't remember if you drive up to it or you just park up. If you drive up to it or you just uh, go inside. I'm assuming the screwdriver is durable. I don't know what the scissors are. How about that? We'll bring those two things along. You can bring that just in case. Uh, my group is tired, which is also the tends to be what happens, unfortunately. But yeah, if I saw the roller derby lady after I got tired, I probably would have taken her. And of course, getting her beforehand doesn't help, because then she'd be tired too. I think I got conned. I don't think there's a police station here at all. Unfortunately, I'm just so used to this, where uh, the police station doesn't spawn, and it's just like, oh, you know, like, I'm just so used to things not spawning. Alright, unfortunately I don't think I can make it out that one, so I'll have to make a second pass. 
I probably don't even have to fight though. No, I might have to make another pass to lure everyone in. Yeah, that'd be fine. And that should be clear enough now. If Munchkin can just come along. Generally, my rule of thumb is two passes, then clear. Do that, and you should be safe. Almost every time you exit a building. I also like to dive into a room fast upon entering a building. That should keep the zombies from crowding the main lobby of the building you're in, so you can navigate it. However, that doesn't stop them from congregating on outside of that room. That's what I think happens. They'll walk in, realize you're not in the room, and then leave. And then they're all just all stuck outside the, the front door. Did you get bit? You got bit. You're an idiot. All you gotta do is just walk backwards, Munchkin. So now we had to waste more time getting you stabilized away from the zombies. Now there's going to be more on the outside of this. No, Munchkin, get over here. Don't go near the door, just stay right here in this corner. No, stay in this corner, stay in this corner. Stay in the corner. You're an idiot, Munchkin. You're an idiot. You see, I think they all can, yeah. I'd rather not get trapped in that room. I can kind of dance around him here, but not back there, not in that other room. You're still an idiot, Munchkin. I think this is supposed to be at 84. I'll be back with those weapons very lightly. I just need to clear myself a path. Without worrying that he's going to end up using his gun as a melee weapon. Rather than, you know, a pair of nice sharp scissors or screwdriver. being a little bit more thorough on this one because uh, I'm going to try to make a run for the car and then back here. 
I don't really want zombies sandwiching me. I'd like, I'd like to make two trips to the car to dump off my gear. Well, we found enough medical to pay, to pay for your, your, your damage. Any zombies that are still um, stalking me from my race through the entire city block with no police station, I'm going to clear them out so that I can dump my stuff in the car. Which is right next to me, by the way. That's another benefit of this that I've never mentioned before, is that everything that you want to take to your car will now be closer to it, rather than you taking goodies from a building near you, and then dropping it off at a building far away. Far away. So if I found like, let's say I have an item of inventory slot of six, and I find four things in the first building, and then I find four things in the next building, farther further away, I will have eight things with an item capacity of six. That means I'll have to drop two things there, run back, and then run back to the far building, rather than dropping two things at the nearest building. I don't know if that makes sense explaining it that way. So anyways, I'm going to make two trips. But let's see what I have beforehand, because I don't think it stores your resources properly when you touch the trunk. I found, I think, I think I brought a pistol, so I think I found 29 bullets, 37 shotgun shells, 7 food, 2 gas, 7 medical. I need to pay 3 medical, I think, to heal Munchkin. Um, and of course I did find a pistol and 2 shotguns, so I, I'd like to bring all of that back. But just in case, you know what, just in case, I think... No, you know what, I've got this. Yeah, that's really clear. That's I didn't need to worry at all. Let's just, just throw my stuff in the trunk. You know, I'm surprised you're not actually using the wooden plank right now. I'm actually surprised. I'm, I'm glad you're not, I just thought you would. But yeah, no police station. A hundred zombies destroyed exactly. Hey, did my, my medic went up twice from that? Really? Was he hurt twice? Um, darn, I can't even see how many times he healed. Well, um, that's Munchkin, right? He's calm. He has six composure, I think. It's been a while. He's trustworthy. Now I'm almost out of gas, so that's going to be pretty bad. Oh, hold on. Family's here. All right. Thank you very much for watching Trend Wins Death Road to Canada. I'll see you next time.